All right, so I got some videos coming soon uh, about my installation of the new Wise thermostat. Uh, other videos coming on Wise products as well. I'm a huge, huge, huge Wise uh, supporter. But I want to do this video real quick, as quick as I can, um, about a problem that they have. And I've actually sent uh, them an email about this. So uh, to try to make a long, complicated story short, I have a uh, heating and air conditioning system that's hot air um, furnace. And when I installed the system, uh, or excuse me, installed the thermostats, I noticed that my fan was cycling on, then cycling off, and then it would go through its normal heating routine. So what I discovered is that within the program, within the WISE program, uh, one of the modes when you hook up your thermostat and you have a wire that is connected to your fan, Typically, that is the G wire. Um, the thermostat is sending a premature signal to that wire, which is cycling the fan on and then off. So this is going to be based on your type of system, okay? But if you have your thermostat, you wire it, you set it up correctly based on the wiring on your furnace, and your system is cycling on, you will hear the fan come on, in my case, and then cycle off within uh, probably about five seconds. And then the, therm then the furnace will go through its normal mode and then the fan turns on normal. So it's a programming issue within the WISE thermostat. So it is system by system. So it doesn't necessarily mean that your system is going to do that. But again, if you have installed the new WISE thermostats, and your system is cycling on, cycling off quickly, and then uh, going through its normal cycle, I'm gonna give you uh, the resolution to that. So I'm assuming you've already installed the thermostat, right? Otherwise you wouldn't know that the problem exists. So um, in my case, I have two thermostats, one at the second floor, one on the first floor. The second floor does not have the fan hooked up to it. The G wire is not hooked up to the second floor. The fan wire is to control the fan on and off. Uh, to get into a little bit of that, you can, on thermostats, turn your fan on if you just want air to circulate throughout your house without your heat on, without your air conditioning on, you can turn the fan onto manual mode, let the fan cycle and circulate air throughout your house without your furnace uh, heating or cooling your air. Most, uh, as far as I know, all thermostats have that capability. I did not hook that up on my second floor. Um, there's a technical reason for it, um, and I'm not gonna get into that. So anyways, going back to your system, if you're, you're finding out that you put your hooked up your wise thermostat your fan is cycling on and off how do you temporarily correct that until wise can come up with a mode what they need is an off mode to completely have that fan turned off because your furnace will automatically turn the fan on when the system comes up to temperature and then will automatically turn the fan off when it, the temperature comes down or when the system is done heating or cooling. The modes in that thermostat do not need to be turned on, which again, this is a wise issue. So how do you bypass that or what do you do? So what you have to do is temporarily uh, get rid of that G wire, so whatever wire is hooked up to your fan, you need to disconnect that. That is going to cause a problem immediately with the thermostat because you're disconnecting a wire. How do you reset it? What you need to do is go through the setup process again within the thermostat. To do that, press and hold the center button, now obviously this isn't hooked up, press and hold the center button for about 10 seconds. You will then get a menu that pops up that's gonna ask you, do you wanna reset? Turn the dial to yes, reset it. That's gonna bring the thermostat back to factory settings. Then what you need to do is go back into your WISE program, delete 
the device that you're having the issue with. Once you delete that device, you're going to re-add the device like you did when you first hooked up the thermostat. And you do have to go through everything again. But the good thing is you can skip a lot of it because you've already hooked everything up. You've already hooked up the wires. However, this is important. When you get to the part where it's asking for the wires that need to be hooked up, you want to make sure that the fan, the G wire, is not hooked up and the box in the menu is not checked for G. So once you do that, what's going to happen once you go through the entire program and your system is ready to run, those fan modes are no longer going to show up because what it thinks is that you no longer have uh, a fan wire, which you don't because it's not hooked up, it's disconnected, and will now allow your system to run correctly, hopefully, again, depending on your system, um, that will hopefully allow the system to cycle the fan on its own without the G wire hooked up. So until WISE can get that figured out, that was my solution. That's what I came up with. Is this going to cause other issues in the future with um, my, I tested both heating and cooling. I have no issues. If anybody else has done this, has anybody else has found any issues uh, with this, or if it doesn't work, please let me know. Again, uh, it's going to be case by case basis. Each heating system is different. This is for my, uh, it's a Honeywell hot air, uh, forced hot air system. That's what I'm using. You do not want your fan to cycle on, cycle off within a very short period of time. That will shorten the life of the motor and potentially cause a fire hazard and um, potentially burn out the, the motor. Those are not designed to be turned on, turned off, turned on, turned off type of thing. All right. uh, any questions, send me emails, send me text. If you like this video, please like, uh, subscribe, and watch for the other videos coming up on the installation process of the WISE thermostat as well as several other WISE products.